morning everybody this is the TSMU fan here and welcome back to Pokemon Violet welcome actually to the Pokemon Violet DLC the teal mask yep the DLC is finally out and I've actually managed to get it fairly recently so we're gonna play it so let's see if I can open this up and see if the DLC works because I just installed a system update in order to play this Man, it's been such a long time since I played Violet. run to 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 who's calling? Oh, it's Jock! Hello, hello, the TSMU fan, this is Jock. Hi, Mr. Jock. What's up? Sorry to bother you while you're probably out searching for some nice treasure. You see, we have a school trip every year around this time. It's a special collaboration between our academy and another school. And would you believe it, the TSMU fan? Your name was one of the ones chosen to attend. You get to go study and experience in the great outdoors off to the east, in the land of Kitakami. It's a long trip to get to this year's destination, so we can't send too many students this time. You really are a lucky one, getting selected as one of the participants. Come to the school's entrance hall when you're ready to hear all the details. Of course, you don't have to take part, but this kind of chance isn't likely to come again, so you should really give it a shot if you're interested. Hope to see you soon. You got it, Jock. Head to the entrance hall. So this is where, um, so fun fact, if I bring up my team here, look, there's Riolu. Um, where did I put, um, yeah, I've got the downloadable content now, see? The teal mask and the indigo disc, I've got this now. Take a look at the items that come with the purchase of the downloadable content. Yeah, I've got that now. I pulled that up in one of my other episodes, but if I take a look at my boxes here, I'm going to explain the reason why I started this episode just standing out in the middle of nowhere. Look at who I have. I've got Mew. Okay, so the whole thing here is that Pokemon did this thing where you could enter a code into Pokemon Violet, and they called it, like, my very own Mew, and I was like... I just can't pass up an opportunity like this. Like, Mew is one of my favorite Pokemon. Mew is adorable. And, um, I'm not sure if I'll put Mew in my team, but, um, I definitely have all my friends from last time. I've got Skeledurge, I've got Riolu, I've got Lucario, I've got Gogo, Floatzel, and Sylveon. Everybody's back. And if you'll notice, ever since the, when I, if, since I've recorded Pokemon Violet last, you'll see that I've given Riolu something. Um, you'll see that I've given him an Everstone, and if you know Pokemon, then you'll know that Everstones prevent a Pokemon from evolving. <laughs> I just had to get myself one of those for my best friend, because I don't want him to evolve. I want him to stay cute, because he's my best friend, you know? Alright, so let's head off to the entrance hall, and let's head to this new place, Kitakami. Baum, baum, ba -ba -daum, ba -baum. I could just fly there, but it's nice to just travel there on Maridon. It's been a long time, Maridon. I hope you've been doing all right since the last time I seen you. I actually didn't see you all that all that long ago because I had to, of course, um take Mew on a picnic and introduce Mew to the rest of my Pokemon. So it hasn't really been that long since I've last seen you, Maridon, but it's nice to see you again. Alright, so we gotta head this way. Boom. Ba -ba 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 hey, look who it is! Look who it is! Hi, Riolu! Hi! You're standing by that tree, you having fun? You just relaxing in the shade? Hi! You doing alright? You doing okay, buddy? It's very shady around here. Do you like it? Yeah? Aww, he likes it. Hello. Alright, well I gotta go. I gotta go, guys. I'm off on a new adventure. Wish me luck! There's another Riolu over there. It's nice to see Riolu again. And now that I'm in this area, now I know he's in this area. The starting area of the game. Now I've seen him. 
finally have seen him in the area that he's supposed to be in. Because I remember, last time I caught him was when I was in, um, the near the Fighting Type Team Star Base. Alright, so here's the front entrance. So we're just gonna head on in here. Bam! Ba 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 ba. Okay. Let's do this. Come on, man. Let's go. We've got a new adventure to go on. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. This is the first time I've ever played anything DLC related to, for any game. So this is going to be a whole lot of fun. Ba ba da ba 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 da ba Yeah. It's nice to play this game again. Like, even though it's got glitches and stuff, like, it's still a fun game to play and come back to. Ba 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 da ba ba bum ba da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba 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 ba. All right, here we are. I just need to enter in here, and then we can head off to the new location. Ba 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 da ba 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 ba. Who are you? Mr. Jacques said the students for the school trip would be around here. Are you the person I have to talk to? Hmm? Are you? Oh, you must be. You're one of the students chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was... The TSMU fan, ma'am. That's me. The TSMU fan, huh? Well, aren't you a polite one? You're positively dazzling. Oh, I like this music. Oh, and you even have a Terra Orb. I guess Paldea is rich enough in resources for that sort of thing to be a common sight at school. Unless that's not the case, are you perhaps an especially exceptional student? Oh, but here I go on and on and I haven't even introduced myself. Call me... Miss Br Miss Briar! I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, hello to you too, the TSMU fan. What a lucky scamp you are getting to take part in the school trip so long after transferring here. I sure am happy for you. I wish I could go too. Ahem. <laughs> huh? Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Briar. I got a bit carried away. Well, as Mr. Jock so kindly stated for me, my name is Briar. Nice to meet you, Briar. I'm a teacher over at Blueberry Academy. That's a school in the Unova region, you know. Miss Briar helps set the curriculum there. Oh, that's a school in Unova? I didn't know that. This year is Blueberry Academy's turn to run our joint school trip and supervise the students. That's why I came here to collect you. We'll be heading to Kitakami, a land known for its picturesque fields and rice paddies. The place has a rustic feel, but there's also something rather mysterious about it. You see, the same energy present in Paldea's terrestrial phenomenon has been detected there. I'm hoping to do some digging into the matter myself, in between my supervising duties. Though I'd also appreciate the chance to take a good look around the great crater of Paldea. Ah, yes, well, there's not much I could do about that without permission from the Pokemon League and Director Clavel. Oh, I know. I've already put in all the proper applications. I trust that I'll get a favorable response soon. Ah, well, hmm. What? What's up? Oh, sorry the TSMU fan. Forgot all about you for a moment there. Anyway, the school trip. Think of it as a chance to continue your treasure hunt on a grander scale. To search beyond Paldea's borders. I'll even provide you with a special update to your Pokemon to your Pokedex app. If you'd get out your phone. Sure, I can get out my phone for you. Here you go. Nice. The Kitakami Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex app. Nice. Awesome. And there we go. All done. Now you can go wild registering all the Pokemon you find around Kitakami too. Oh, and don't worry about the permission slip for the trip. I already cleared things with your mom. You just go and have fun. I will. See you later. Nice to see you again, Jock. Haha, <laughs> your Mr. Jock is quite charming, isn't he? Delightfully direct when he wants to be. 
Now then, the TSMU fan. It's quite a trip to the land of Kitakami. I hope you don't mind flying or long bus rides. Let me know as soon as you're ready to set out, won't you? I'm ready. I'm ready when you are. Are you ready to set out for Kitakami, the TSMU fan? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Promotion. Great. We'll set out together as a group once the other students arrive. I hear you all all chosen for this trip by the lottery, so, may, so this may be the first time you meet. I know my role is to chaperone you kids around, but I fully intend to have some fun of my own while I'm at it, just so you're aware. By the way, do you know of the Violet Book? I know of it, yeah. I sure do. I had to use it to stop, um, Turo. As you should. It was the most influential book of the century on the subject of the paranormal. The author of the Violet Book, Heath, was in fact an ancestor of mine. Oh, really? I even have his original manuscript. Oh, cool, I didn't know that. Oh. Look here. These are the pages that were blacked out and made illegible in the published version of the book. Oh. A disc Pokemon? While well, separated from the research team, a disc Pokemon. While well, separated from the research team in the crater's depths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. Oh, is that the Pokemon that they showed like promos of for? Because I've seen, oh, I've of course seen them because they've like posted them on like Twitter and all that. A disc Pokemon? I have tentatively named this creature Terrapagos. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. I suspect that its very body is made up of the key of nah. I suspect that its very body is made up of the key material that causes Pokemon to shine brightly and crystallize. The Pokemon depicted on these pages is called Terrapagos. It's a mysterious Pokemon that Heath allegedly encountered when he delved even further into the depths of Area Zero. Not that the general public believed him. Oh, interesting. It's my dream to find Terrapagos and prove that Heath's records were all true. Though I haven't been yet been able to secure permission to enter Area Zero, unfortunately. I see. But that's fine. It'll all be fine. All I need to do now is focus on the work that's in front of me. Miss Briar, we're ready to go! Looks like the gang's all here. Alright everyone, to the land of Kitakami! Alright, let's go! Bow, bow. Off we go! Row. Oh, there's a Dragonite inside the loading icon, that's cool! Oh, here we go! The hidden treasure of Area Zero. Bum, 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 bum. Part one: The Teal Mask. Ooh, here we go. There's Kitakami. Hmm, babu. This is good music. We're finally here. My butt is killing me after all those hours sitting. First the plane, then that bus. <laughs> well, you all survived the long trip. And we haven't lost anyone along the way? All here. Then welcome to the land of Kitakami. This is the stage for all the new experiences and learning opportunities you'll have out in nature. Cool. Looks very nice. It's actually my first time here, too. Why, the rice fields really are just dazzling. Up ahead is Masui Town. That will be our base of operations for the duration of the trip. Alright. Miss Briar, I don't... Miss Briar, uh, I, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh, all that travel must have given you a dose of motion sickness, hmm? Why don't we pause here for a moment and take in the sight of these fields? Good idea. Now, the TSMU fan, I have a little request for you. Yes? Could you run ahead to the community center in Mosui and let the caretaker know we're here? It would also be great if you could explain that one of our students is feeling unwell. I can do that. 
You can count on me. I knew I'd be able to count on you. On your way, then. I'll look after your poor travel... Ah, crap. My computer screen went blank. I keep forgetting that I have to move my mouse around. I did that last time in one of, my, in one of the last couple episodes of Pokemon Violet. I think it was the last episode where I forgot to move the mouse around. No, it was actually in the episode before that where I thought that I got one of La Primera's Pokemon and because I didn't move the mouse around and the screen went black. That's definitely something that I gotta remember to do. Anyways, on your way then, I'll look after your poor travel buddy here. Alright. Let's go. Head to Masui Town. Okay, so that's in which direction? I think that's in this direction. Do I have Maridon? You can't ride Maridon right now. Dang it. Oh, hello. Aren't you Sawaddle? I've never seen you before in this game. That's the thing. I think I think that they said before on their Twitter, on Pokemon's Twitter, that there are Pokemon in Kitakami that aren't in Pokemon Violet. Hey, look, it's Poochietta! I haven't seen you since Ruby and Sapphire! Hey! It's been a long time! How you doing? Okay, you're just gonna ignore me? Okay, bye. You're rude. I just wanted to say hello. That's all I wanted to do. Can't a guy just say hello? Alright then. I guess we'll head up to here, to the community center. There's another Poochietta over there. That's so cool! Alright, here we are. Is that the community center over there? This music is pretty nice. I like it. All right, here we are. Who are you guys? Sis, look, there's one now. Oh, are they talking about me? Must be. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? So, you're one of those students who came from the Paldea region, huh? Whoa! Way cool! Hush, Kieran. I'm Carmine. Sorry, but I can't just let an outsider like you wander into Masui Town. If you insist on coming in, you'll have to battle me first. C -c -c come on, sis! You just want to battle! Making this a big fuss over nothing! I told you to hush, Kiki! Just ignore my little brother. Aw, oh, man! Alright, let's do this. Get in position. Whatever you say. Okay, Carmine. I don't. I didn't know that I was battling you as soon as I got here. I'm going to have some real good fun with you. <laughs> Ooh. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Carmine. Let's go. Poochietta. Go, Skeleturge, the Paldea Champion. Man, it feels good to say that. Welcome to Kitakami. For your first experience, get ready to eat dirt. All right, Skeleturge, I'm counting on you, buddy. Let's use Bite, even though that won't do much against Poochiana. It's not very effective, yeah. So, do you not know about type matchups? Maybe you should study up. Hey, stop that. I'm trying my best here. It's been a long time since I played Pokemon Violet. Hey, there's a notification that one of my friends is also playing Violet. Torch Song, Skeledurge. I didn't mean for that notification to come up, but hey, you know, this is all on the Switch, so I always get notifications. The opposing Poochiena fainted. Good job, Skeledurge. Good job. Pokemon Trainer Carmine is about to send out Polcha... Polcha Geist? Will you send out your Pokemon? I've never seen that one. Polchageist. Who's that? Oh, I think you're new. Okay, Torch Song, Skeledurge. Skeledurge used Torch Song. Nice! It's super effective. Down in one hit. That's it. I knew you could do it. Great job, Skeledurge. Uh oh. You know about type matchups, huh? I sure do! <laughs> I was tricking ya! The opposing Poltergeist fainted. I almost said Poltergeist. That's the Pokemon I do know. 
Pokemon trainer Carmine is about to send out Vulpix. Will you switch your Pokemon? Okay, Vulpix is a wa is a fire type, so I'm gonna have send in Floatzel, because Floatzel's a water type. Come on back, Skeledurge, you did great out there. You sure did, buddy. Go on, Floatzel the Paldea champion, I know you can do it. Carmine sent out Vulpix. Hello, Vulpix. I didn't think you, I don't think you were in Violet, were you? Anyways, Hydro Pump, Floatzel! Floatzel used Hydro Pump. The opposing Vulpix avoided the attack. Gosh dang it. The opposing Vulpix used extra sensory. Ow. How's that for a first taste of Kitakami? Not that I'm enjoying this or anything. This is pretty good music. Hydro Pump, Floatzel, do it again! Come on, you got this! The opposing Vulpix avoided the attack. Gosh dang, you're fast! Disable. Oh no. Floatzel's Hydro Pump was disabled. Oh no, what am I gonna do now? Whirlpool, Floatzel! Floatzel, use Whirlpool! Gotcha! It's super effective. Floatzel landed a critical hit, wishing to be praised. That's it, I knew you could do it! There we go, I praised ya! Ah, uh, come on, that was just a lucky hit! The opposing Vulpix became trapped in the Vortex. The opposing Vulpix used extra sensory. Ow! There you go, you got another hit in because you're in the Whirlpool. The opposing Vulpix is hurt by Whirlpool. Quick attack, Floatzel! Go! Floatzel used quick attack. Got him! The opposing Vulpix fainted. Nice! Yeah, we did it! You defeated Pokemon Trainer Carmine. Great job, Floatzel! And great job, Skeledurge. You... Who are you? You got 3,360 in prize money. Awesome! Wowzers! You went and beat my sis? I can't believe it. There's no way you should have been able to beat me! Fine. I guess you pass. Barely. Seems I've got no choice. I let you into town, but only if you become one of my grunts and do every little thing I... Oi! What are you doing calling the ruckus out here? T here comes trouble. C come on, Kiki. We're out of here. But, 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 I... Wait up, sis. Hey, what's up? Why, hello there, stranger. You must be one of the students from that Paldean Academy, right? I help run the community center here in Mosui Town and a few other things besides. I'll be looking after your group during your visit. I hope those two kids weren't giving you any grief just now. Were they? Um, no, not really. I mean, it wasn't too bad fighting them. I only know what to do with the two of them. Especially that carbine. Always been hard for that one. I apologize if she gave you a hard time. Oh, it's no problem, dude. What's that? A member of your group fell ill down by the bus stop. I better get over there and give him a hat so I can make it into town. I'm kind of giving this guy an Australian accent. I'll take care of everything. You go ahead and get yourself settled in at the community center, mate. We'll catch up with you soon. <laughs> Alright. Nice. Head into the community center. Here it is. Oh, that's the Pokemon Center over there. That looks very different. Wait, that's not Nurse Joy. This way, everyone. Okay, it's the caretaker. The TSMU fan. I owe you one for fetching the caretaker. Our little travel buddy's feeling much better now, too. Alright, everyone. This is the community center. This is where you'll be staying while you're here in Kitakami. The plan was to have you and the student from the Blueberry Academy stay here together. But it turns out this space is going to be all for you. Our visitors from Uva Academy. Oh, right. Those two kids were originally from this town, aren't they? So when you come, don't be shy, mate. <laughs> it's fun giving this guy an Australian accent. That's fun. Come on, everyone. Pack right in. Oh, no need to worry about your shoes or anything. You can leave them on in here. If they're extra dirty, just try to rinse off the worst of the mud by using the washing station by the door, mate. Oh, right here we are. I like that cake down in the corner there. Nice and clean inside, don't you think? It's all newly built, so it's as good as anything you'd find in one of your big fancy cities. This here's the lounge. You can watch TV, chat, or relax however you like. 
And well, let's see. Over there's the cafeteria, and the toilets will be down that way. When you want to get some sleep, please use the rooms down the hall there. We got enough space that each of you can have a private room to yourself, mate. So I think that about covers everything. But if you run into any trouble at all, don't you hesitate to talk to, to our fine staff at the desk, mate. Thank you for the tour, sir. <laughs> Alright, kids. Do you have anything to say to the staff who will be taking such good care of us? We're glad to be here. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us! What a bunch of well-mannered students! I can already tell you're going to be wonderful visitors! So you just think of this place as your ho own home away from home and relax, mate! You must all be tired after such a long day. I know it's a bit early still, but why don't we have dinner, then call it a night? We got plenty of food ready for you all, so I hope you brought your appetites, mate! You're gonna be eating a lot of grub! Alright! Ba 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 This is good music. Thanks for dinner. Mmm, tasty. You're free to spend the rest of the evening as you like in the community center. But remember that tomorrow, the program will be officially kicking off. Don't stay up too late or you might oversleep. You got it. Let's just do a bit of exploring around here. I wonder what's scheduled for tomorrow. I'm so excited I don't think I can sleep. Welcome. Welcome, dear Paldean student. We provide a special service to visitors here at the Kitakami Community Center. If you've opened your bag and whatnot while you've been here, you might have noticed that the theme of the upper and lower borders of your screen in some menus now changes depending on your location. Do you want to change the settings for the upper and lower borders on your menus? Um, set them back to the old Paldea theme. Leave them so they match my location. Okay, I hope you enjoy sightseeing around Kitakami with your current settings. Wait, what? So you're telling me that my bag changes? What? Oh, that's awesome. I actually really like that. Alright, what's in here? Okay, can't go in any of these doors. This is a girl's restroom. This is the boy's restroom. Okay, I can't go into any of those. Hey, did you enjoy the taste of our local Kitakami fair? I sure did. Do you say anything else if I go back to you? I didn't mean to talk to you. You. The Blueberry students will join us tomorrow. I hope you all get along. How about you? Eep! I checked out my room and there was a bug Pokemon in there. Eh, they're not that scary. These are tablets for anyone to use, but they need to be charged. <laughs> Alright, there's a video showing off some of Kitakami's scenery playing on this giant screen. What's in this room? Looks like, a co looks like a conference room. Probably won't be using this. Okay. The food here seems really healthy, but it was still really tasty too. Alright, I don't think that there's anything else to explore around here. Notice, this October, the community center will increase rental rates for some of its facilities. This applies to, the, to conference rooms, event spaces, and lodging. Find the adjusted rates below. Okay. Uh, th that's just the same thing. It's a notice about garbage collection days. There are a bunch of flyers. Garbage collection schedule. Notice about health checkups. Make apple jam by hand. Sign up now. Love singing? Join karaoke club. Seems it's like it's okay to take one. Alright. Awesome. Let's go in here. Ready to call it a night? Yeah, sure. Ba ba bum. All rested up. All right. And here we are. Morning, everyone. Did you sleep well? Starting today, you'll be joined by our two students from the from Blueberry Academy. Go on, kids. Time to introduce yourselves. Oh, Carmine and um her brother were from the Blueberry Academy. I didn't know. Hi, I'm Carmine. It's a pleasure to meet all you outsiders. I mean, visitors from Paldea. <laughs> uh, I'm Kieran. Carmine and Kieran actually grew up here, so ask them for help if you need anything, mate. Uh, you two better be of real help, you hear me? Aye, aye. R right 
Now that that's settled, why don't I tell you all a bit about what we have planned for you, mate? This school trip of yours will be an exercise in orienteering. First we'll have you split into pairs, then each pair will be tasked with finding three signboards located around the land of Kitakami. On each signboard you'll find snippets of an old folk tale passed down here in Kitakami. Read them all and learn a bit about our home. To prove you completed the task, we ask that each pair take a snapshot together in front of these signboards with their phone or camera. Take a photo together in front of each of the three signboards to complete your mission. It's a self-guided tour of Kitakami, learn all about its rich history, mate. Much more fun than sitting around listening to me ramble on and on, eh? Wonderful. What an innovative idea for a group activity. Oh, and I've got a gift for each of you as well. What is it? You obtained the roto stick. You put the roto stick in your barracks key items pocket. Roto stick. A stick to rest a Rotom phone on. It allows you to take selfies from a little bit farther away than you could on your own. Aw, oh, nice. The roto stick. Press the X button while in selfie mode to use your roto stick. The roto stick adds some extra distance between you and the camera, making it, making it easier to take photos of, with your friends and Pokemon. I hear these things are all the rage in the big cities. Use them when you, you take those photos, mate. I even teach you a rad pose I came out, up with them on my own. You learned the Eureka emote from the caretaker. Ah, yes. Real rad. <laughs> Remember that one of the goals on this trip is to dip deepen the ties between our two schools. It seems like having someone who knows the area well would be a big help. That being said, let's try to maximize the number of inner school pairs, okay? Time to mingle. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, we gonna do it? Okay. Talk to the kids from the other school. Okay, I'm supposed to do that. What? I don't want to have to pair up with someone I don't even know. What do you say? That girl, Carmine. I'm not sure that I trust that cheery greeting from her. I'm not sure I trust that either, to be honest. I already talked to you. I didn't mean to do that. We've got four students from Uva Academy and only two from Blueberry. So that means at least one pair will be made up of just kids from our school, right? Oh, am I going to have to pair up with you guys? I assume so. You're the TSMU fan or whatever, right? Let me guess. You want to pair up with one of us poor, lonely, blueberry students? I don't think I've got any other choice, yes. Because every one of, the, uh, of my students has a partner already. Gosh, it's so sweet of you to go out of your way like that. What would we ever do without you? Oh yeah, sorry my- so- oh yeah, so my little brother here has been all googly-eyed over you since yesterday. He wouldn't stop talking about you, even at home. I seriously couldn't get him to shut up. S sis what are you telling him that for, dummy? Hey, what are you call dummy if you know what's good for you? Aw, oh, man! Look at him, being all shy. See, my brother's no good at talking to people. He probably never woke up the nerve to ask you himself, but he'd really like a battle with you. Sure. I can battle you if you want, Kieran. Well, what do you know? Turns out you're sort of nice. This'll make my brother real happy. Chin up, Kiki. The TCMU fan says he'll battle you. What? W Wowzers! Really? You don't mind? He doesn't mind a bit. Get to your positions, you two. Everybody else clear out. Make some space. I, I got this. You got it, Kieran. I believe in you. You can do it. Bum, 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 bum. Here we go. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Kieran. Pokemon Trainer Kieran sent out Sentret. Hello, Sentret. Go, Skeledurge! Versus... Wowzers! I can't believe this! I get to battle you! This is awesome! Ba 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 ba! Torch song, Skeledurge! Skeledurge, use Torch song! Got him! Down in one hit! Skeledurge's special attack rose. The opposing Sentret fainted. Nice. Pokemon trainer Kieran is about to send out Yanma. Will you switch your Pokemon? Nah, I'm good. 
Kieran sent out Yanma. Ba 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 ba. All right. Overheat, Skeledurge, go! Skeledurge used overheat. Got him! It's super effective. That's it. I knew you could do it. Oof. <laughs> I guess I got a lot of weaknesses. <laughs> ba 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 ba. The opposing Yanma fainted. Ba 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 ba. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Kieran. That was easy. Nice try, Kieran. Wowzers. You got 2,640 in prize money. You did a good job, Kieran. You tried your best. Good show. Who are you, Pops from regular show? Oh, good show. <laughs> Nicely done, kids. Nothing like a friendly battle to get to know someone. Wowzers. You sure are strong, the TSMU fan. You really aren't half bad. Kiki's nearly as strong as I am, you know. I don't know about that. This orienteering thing. We're supposed to... Oh, that's the wrong voice. This orienteering thing. We're supposed to group up in pairs, right? You should go ahead and pair up with Kiki, then. What? No, no, sis, don't! Don't what? It's not like we can pair up. Or were you hoping to partner with some other rando outsider instead of the TSMU fan? Well, no, but... Aw, oh, man! Don't worry, he's just being shy. Oh, it's alright, Kieran. I'll go find some chump to pair up with, too. Watch out for my little bro, you! I will. So I guess we're partners now. Looks like you've all paired up, mate! Let's go ahead and mark where you'll be going on those Rotom forms of yours. Now then, off you go to do some exploring. Oh, and if you find yourself in need of any potions or Pokeballs or the like, head on over that way and stop by Peaches. They'd be happy to set you to rights, mate. Uh, um, so it looks like we should probably, so it looks like we should probably start with the signboard at Loyalty Plaza. That's out past the apple orchard. That's out past the apple orchards on the west side of the village. It's close by, and I figure it might um make sense to, you know, visit them all in order. I I'll probably just get in your way if I stick too close, so I'll just follow you from a safe distance. Okay, Kieran. See you later. Bye. All right. Are we going? Take a selfie at the first signboard. Okay, where is that? Can I look at the map? Switching between maps. Press the L button or R button while the map app is open to switch between different maps. Flying taxis will take you to any location with a feather mark, even if your destination is in another region. Oh, so I can go back to Paldea at any time if I really wanted to. That's cool. Okay, so let's select this. Because I can set this as my destination. So we're going that way. Off we go. We're all clear and out of here. Ba -bum -ba -ba -bum -ba 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 ba 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 Apple Hills. Alright. Let's see what kind of Pokemon we're going to see around here. There's another Poochiena over there. Apple and Juice. Material accidentally dropped by a Pokemon. Hey, look, it's a Pichu! Hi! How you doing, buddy? Hey there. You're gonna battle if I talk to you. I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm busy at the moment. I got a sign to go to and take a selfie in front of. There's a Pokeball over there. I wonder what's in it. It's a dire hit! Wow, that's actually pretty good. All right, just up this hill. Apples, I love them. I like apples too. Hey, is that a Starly? Yeah, it is a Starly. Hey, nice to see ya. What I'm wondering is, oh, Bellsprout. I don't think I saw Bellsprout in Violet. Great ball, okay, that's very great. <laughs> What I'm wondering is, is maybe there's a location in this area where Riolu shows up. That would be pretty interesting. 
Up this way. Yeah, just up this way. I'm not going to talk to you because I don't want to battle right now. To, wisp, to the Wistful Fields, to Loyalty Plaza. Okay, so Loyalty Plaza is just over in this direction. Ba 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 bum. Rotom phone apps, what do you say? Hey, I'm a traveling app developer. I see you've got a Rotom phone. Here, let me add a snazzy new feature for you. What is it? Your Rotom phone has been upgraded. How? <laughs> match your phone case. The upper and lower frames of compatible apps can be set to match the design of the phone case you have on your Rotom phone. Give it a whirl with different Rotom phone cases to try a new look. What? Mm-hmm. Technology really is incredible. That's awesome. You arrived at your destination, Loyalty Plaza. Is this the sign I have to take a selfie in front of? That's the first... Oh, it's Kieran. That's the first signboard. Hey, what's up? Oh, sorry. Uh, did I startle you? Uh, I did mention that I'd hang back and follow you here. We're supposed to read the signboard, right? Yeah. Oh, I already know the whole story, so go, go, go ahead. You should check it out. You're a lot like Penny, Kieran. Like a sort of like, um, not very confident about themselves, like... Oh, long, long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitakami. The ogre made its home in the mountain behind the village, frightening all who ventured there. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. By some stroke of luck, Okie Dogie, Monkey Dory, and Fezandipidi all happened to be there as well. I think those are the three legendary Pokemon that they showed off. The three Pokemon laid down their lives to fend off the ogre and send it back to the mountain. In admiration, the people of the village bestowed upon this brave Torio the title, The Loyal Three. Their remains were given a proper burial, and, the st and statues of the three were erected above the site. The Loyal Three monument is right over there! But don't you think the ogre in that folktale sounds kinda... cool? Yeah, sure does. Sounds like Shrek almost. Somebody! <laughs> right? I knew you'd get it, the TSMU fan! It was up against three whole opponents at once, battling it out all by itself! Wowzers! That's so cool! Oh, but I guess most people would just think an ogre like that is scary, huh? I don't think there's any reason to be afraid. When I was little, I would have been to the mountain so many times at night, all on my own, and I just, and I never once met that ogre. Only, only scary thing that happened was the grown-ups giving me a real earful about it. Um, so yeah, we're supposed to take a photo in front of the signboard, right? I don't have a smartphone. Could you? That turned out great. You're even good at taking photos. Thanks. Oh, oh, you want to try? Oh, no, I didn't mean m maybe next time. I got to give you a little confidence, Kieran. You're a lot like Penny, like a not very confident, like always thinking of themselves like, oh, gosh, I don't know if I can do this sort of type. Like, um, like sort of like that. You know, I didn't want to have to come do this whole school trip thing, but, well... It might actually be kind of fun. I get to be out in nature around my hometown and talk to you, the TSMU fan. H hey, if you want, maybe we could set up a picnic. Would you like a sandwich? Oh, sure. Hey, it's Maridon. Agya. G yeah? What is that thing? Some kind of kaiju or something? A kaiju? <laughs> I know what that is. That not that like the Japanese word for monster? I know that people have called like 
creatures like Godzilla that. A kaiju? This is Maridon! He's my best friend. It's called Maridon? And you ride on it, huh? I've never seen another Pokemon like this. And it seriously comes out whenever he hears the word sandwich? Oh yeah, that's right, you did say sandwich. I guess. He really wants a sandwich, doesn't he? Never thought I'd actually get to meet such an awesome Pokemon. Seems like you're a lot different from Penny. Penny didn't like Maridon. No wonder you're so strong, the TSMU fan. You're... you're special. Thanks, thanks, Kieran. So the next... Uh, uh, we should go find the next signboard. It's on the grounds of Kitakami Hall. Um, Kitakami Hall is... Well, first, double back to town from here. Then there's this bridge you cross. And from there, you'll need to climb up the mountainside. I'll hang, I'll hang back for now and meet you there later. Okay, see ya, Kieran. Agya? What's up, Maridon? You questioning him? He is rather strange, isn't he? Take a selfie at the next signboard. Alrighty. Let's see, where's the next one at? Is it over in this direction? Ah, here it is. Alright, so I gotta focus on that and set it as my destination. Alright, let's loop around here and go back. Oh, is this the shrine that it was talking about? Let's see what this says. Loyal Three Monument. Long ago, these three courageous Pokemon protected Mosui Town from destruction. They defeated the ogre that had, to, that had come to attack the village at the cost of their own lives. Their remains were laid to rest with the people's respects below these very statues. All right, let's take a look at them. Can I look at them? Okay, I can't like interact with them or anything, but that's the monument right there. Awesome, all right, let's head back now. <clears throat> this is fun so far, I'm liking it. I really like Kieran a lot. He's a very relatable character. All righty then. We're just gonna head on Maridon and ride our way back. We just gotta go back in the way we came. Up this way. No, not that way. That's the wrong way. And I'm gonna press down the control stick so that I move faster. Whee! Whoa! Oh, hey! What are you doing? You got in my way! I don't think I saw you in Violet. What is your name again? Spinarak. No, thank you. I'm good. You got away safely. Bye, Spinarak. Nice to see you here. But I don't want to talk to you right now. Ooh, a Sentret. Isn't Sentret like um um the pre the, the pre evolved version of Furret? Like, Furret's a Pokemon that I'd really like to see in this game. I wonder if Furret's in this. Because we haven't seen Furret in a long time. Hi, Sentret. You doing alright? Hi. Sure, I'll battle you. And I'll try to catch ya. Alright, we're gonna use Bite. Skeledurge used Bite. Don't kill it, Skeledurge! Gosh dang it. You're too strong, Skeledurge. That's your whole problem. You're too strong. I gotta send in a different Pokemon then. Tart Apple and Paralyze Heal. There's another Bell Sprout over there. Alright, Potion and a Paralyze Heal. So let's see the Pokedex for this. Can I look at it? Alright, these are all the Pokemon that I've seen. Sentret. Okay, let's take a look. Lives in grassy areas. Can I take a look and see what the Pokedex number is? Let's take a look at this. Ah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, like, Sentret evolves into Furret or something. I don't know. I'd have to look that up. Oh! Oh! I was right! Riolu is in Kitakami! Awesome! Where? I'd like to... 
Oh, that's a new picture! Oh, look at that! Lives in rocky areas. I wasn't expecting there to be a new picture. Is there one for Lucario? Oh! Look at that! That's awesome! And look at the Lariolus behind him. That's actually really, really cool! Wow! So I was right, Riolu is in this uh, DLC. Cool, that's good to know. There's a lot of Pokemon in this area, that's for sure. Alright. So let's go and um, see if I can find another Sentret. Because I'm pretty sure that Sentret evolves into Furret. Either that or it's the other way around. But I'm pretty sure that... Hmm... Is it the other way around? There's a Sentret. Here, I'll do this. Since Riolu is my is my lowest level Pokemon, I'll send him in. Go! You got this, buddy! Ooh, Metal Claw. Okay, all the fighting type moves are effective. I'll have you use Metal Claw then. Don't kill him. There you go. Good job, Riolu. Ooh, that was a big hit. The Wild Sentret was damaged by the recoil. Oh, perfect! Pokeball! Go! You used a Pokeball. Now you know what to do. Press those left and right buttons. That's the strategy I have. Got it! Gotcha! Sentret was caught. Nice. Great job, Riolu. I knew I could count on you, little buddy. Sentret. Registered. Sentret's data has been added to the Pokedex. If it encounters a foe, it will stand up on its tail, making itself look bigger than usual to intimidate them. Would you like to give Sentret a nickname? Nah. Where do you want to send Sentret? Hmm. Sure, I can add Sentret to my party. Now, who am I gonna swap out? I'm kinda... I kind of want to swap out Sylveon. I'll do that for a second. Sentra will be added to your party, and Sylveon will be sent to your boxes. Don't worry, Sylveon. I'll get you back in just a second. Sentra Fur. You can claim a reward for the Pokedex you've, for the progress you've made in your Pokedex. For the Pokedex you've made in your progress. What am I saying? Alright, we got our first Kitakami Pokemon. Awesome, and I can claim a reward for that. How does that work? It won't have any effect. Oh, so do I gotta get off my ride on? So what's the reward I can get? Scout Pokemon, okay. What's the what's the note? Wait, hold on. Was that fur in the notes? Hang on. Wait. Lives in grassy areas, rarely seen. Oh that is fur it! Oh fur it's in this game! I really want a fur it! I really want a fur it. Fur it's awesome! Fur it's very cute. Ba 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 ba. That's why I added Sentret to my team, so that um, I think Sentret evolves into Fur it. All right, so I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon real quick. Hey there, this is the Pokemon Center. Are your Pokemon tired and needing a rest? Oh, excuse me, I'd like to heal my Pokemon, please. Okay, I'll take him here for a sec. Yeah, you're definitely not Nurse Joy. Bum, bum, ba, ba, bum. Riolu and the rest of your team should be all better now. Come back whenever you need. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot to swap out Riolu as my lead. Alright then, buddy. There you go. I'll swap you back in later. It's nice to be back, though, isn't it, little buddy? Alright, so we're supposed to be going this way. Up this hill. That's right. So let's go this way. Reveler's Road. Ooh. Oh, it's CDOT. City kids. I don't live in the city. I live in the country in real life. Experience candy extra small. Hello, Starly. Hello, CDOT. Hello, Vulpix. Were you in Violet? Can I focus on you? Vulpix. Okay, since I've seen your name before, you must have been in Violet. I thought you weren't. Flap, flap, flap. You pretending to be a bird? Ekans Fang. Material accidentally dropped by a Pokemon. Okay. Ba, 
ba ba da ba Burn heal. That'll be very useful. What's that? Oh, it's a... It's a... I forgot what his name was. Dang it. Max Revive. Ooh, that's very good. Oh, look, it's Heracross. Experience candy extra small. No, 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 you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. Oh, look, it's a Nuzleaf. I don't think I've seen you before. Kitakami Hall. No, thank you. I don't want to battle you. Pokeball. All right, very good. Very good. Potion. Hoo, ha, hoof. You huffing and puffing and blowing the house down. <laughs> ba 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 bum. All right, let's go up here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let's go back a bit. Oh, oh, look at that. It's a Sui and Growlithe from Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh, that's cool that they're still recognizing Legends Arceus. That's actually really cool. Ba ba ba. All right, so just up here. Bo bo. There's the signboard right over there. You arrived at your destination. What's this? Repeat ball. Okay. Let's take a look at this then. Is Kieran gonna come over? That's the second signboard. Bit tricky to find, huh? Sorry, I'm falling at a distance, so I, I I, hope you can get used to me showing up like this. Now then, let's read the sign. You got it, Kieran. Oh, the ogre possessed four mysterious glimmering masks. It is said that depending on the mask the ogre donned, the powers of its cudgel would change. Oh. This is very good music. When wearing the teal mask, it could bring life back to into withered greenery around it. When wearing the crimson mask, it could turn into it could turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno. When wearing the blue mask, it could stop the very flow of a river. When wearing the ashen gray mask, it could easily break the hardest stone in two. Before the loyal three fell, they wrestled away three of the ogre's masks, greatly weakening it. Ooh. Did you read it? <laughs> I sure did, in the most epic narrator voice possible. The masks the loyal three stole are kept over at Kitakami Hall. Everyone in town is scared of the ogre, but me? I really like it. It was strong and cool, and it didn't even care when everyone shunned it. I've always wanted to be like that, ever since I was a kid. I want to be as cool as the ogre. Oh, you will be someday, Kieran. My sis sort of ends up doing everything for me, even when we're at school. I... I want to try to get stronger, so I can do things for myself, you know? I'm gonna become someone people- I'm gonna become someone people can rely on. Then, just maybe, uh, I could be that ogre's friend. What? Oh, um, right. Picture. We're supposed to take a picture. You can take the next one too if you don't mind the TSMU fan. Okay. <laughs> Look at that one! He's like, uh, <laughs> it almost kind of looks like he's doing the Mr. Beast pose. Mr. Beast! <laughs> Phew, I knew it was the right call to let you handle it, the TSMU fan. Now, on to the next signboard. Oh, and you know the mountain the stories say the ogre lives on? It's actually Oni Mountain. You can climb it from the stairs over there. If he wanted, we could go, we could, if he wanted, we could, uh, go see the ogre's home? Folks call it the dreaded den. Oh, I want to see it. That sounds like an epic name. Y yes I really wanted you to see it for yourself, the TSMU fan. So, uh, if you keep climbing up, you reach the infernal pass. There's a sign before that. 
If you turn at the sign, you can get to the dreaded den. Alright. So, I'll just head on up then. Come along when you're ready. And be careful. You got it, Kieran. I'll be careful. Alrighty. Visit the dreaded den. Ooh. I won't lie, that name is actually really epic. I have a feeling that we're gonna get into trouble doing this. I don't know why, it's just a feeling I've got. Oni Mountain. Burn Heal. Alright. Ooh. Hello, Pichu. Oh, it's a uh, Growlithe. Hello. Oh, are you gonna battle me? No, 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 no. Ah! Pichu, get out of the way! I didn't mean to run into you. Go away! I don't want to fight today. Hmm. <clears throat> you got away safely. Oh. Man, that Kieran voice is hard for me to do. It's a really a testament. Timber? You're new to this party. I've never seen you before. Hey, Growlithe. Are you not going to fight me? Are you, are you just going to stare at me? I thought you were going to fight me. Okay, hi. Um, nice to see ya. I'm going to go over here and get this. Ether, okay. Are you following me? Okay, no, you're not. Good. You must have seen that I went over to see another Pokemon and was like, no, I don't want to fight you. Fire Fang, okay. Oni's Maw. Oni Mountain. Ooh. This is a rocky area. I wonder if we'll see Riolo around here. Very possible. Very possible. Okay, I think I'm supposed to cross over. And over. Across the water we go. Oh! Look at that! It's a Bonsley! I don't think I've seen you. Yeah, I haven't seen you. Otherwise, your name would be right there. You were surprised to see me. Are you going to move? I thought you were going to battle me. Oh, I've seen you before. What's your name? Noibat. That's right. Yeah, I've seen you and Violet before. I forgot what your name was, though. Ooh, Geodude. There's another Paldea Pokemon over there. That was one of the Titans I fought. He's a small guy now. Rare Bone. And Experience Candy S. Alrighty then. Oh, look at that. It's the Landit. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Okay, I'm supposed to go over here. Oh, I think I'm supposed to head up. But how do I get up? Is there a way I can get up around here? I am not sure. Can I just climb the wall? Well, I need to find a part of the wall that's not obscured by the um, ceiling. What's this? Zen headbutt. Okay, that's a good move. You can't ride my ride on here. Yes, I can. See? I just need to go back a little bit more because... Um, it won't let me ride Maridon in an area where Maridon can't fit. Okay. Oni Mountain. Hold on, there is a cave over there. Maybe if I go in that cave, I'll be able to find my way to the top. I'm not sure. This is all new to me. And glide across. There we go. What's in this cave? Okay, it doesn't seem like much. Just a couple items. Uproar. A, an awakening. And... Ah! Get out of my way, swine -ub. Go away. I don't want to fight you. You got away safely. Get out of my way. Ah, I ran into another one. Stop that. Run! Run, Forrest, run! Alright, now let's get off. No, 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 no. Experience Candy S. Okay, so this cave didn't have anything in it. Alright. I guess that was a waste. But hey, it was nice to look around in there and at least get some more items. 
X accuracy. I'm gonna head back over here. Because this is where it's telling me to go over to. Like, near that waterfall. Maybe there's a way I can get up the waterfall somehow. I'm not sure. Maybe if I stick by the side of it, I can climb up the wall. Like this. Okay, this is working. Alright, this will work. Ba, 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 ba. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this, but this is the way I'm doing it. <laughs> oh. We're at the ceiling now. Okay, so I just gotta head right to the to the right. Okay, slide down a bit, Maridon. You can't move when you're stuck on the ceiling like that. All right, can I get off? No, I slid all the way back down. Crap. Well, at least I managed to save myself and landed right here. Okay, so now we're just gonna. Ah, crap! I fell down again. There we go. Okay, so am I supposed to be up here? Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. I think I'm supposed to be down here. Yeah, there's Kieran. Woo! Well, that was probably not the way I was supposed to get up, but that's how I did it, and that's what matters. <clears throat> All right. The TSEBU fan, did you have trouble getting across that narrow path? There it is, the dreaded den. This is supposed to be the ogre's home. At least, that's what everyone says. I've come here all the time, but I've never seen it. Maybe a powerful ogre like that would only show up if I heard there's some kind of battle going on. Oh? Oh, oh yeah. I think I've gotten a bit stronger since the last time we battled. So, you know, if you wanted to, we could battle? Let's do it. Come on, Kieran. I believe in you. All right, though, uh, we should heal up our teams first. Thanks, Kieran, I appreciate that. All right, let's do this. I'll give it all I got. I, I got this. You sure do, Kieran. I believe in you. If you try hard enough, you can beat the Paldea champion that is myself. You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Kieran. Hey, there's Furret! Where'd you get that at? I need myself one of those. Versus... This time, I'll put up a good fight! Whatever you say. Wasn't Furret, uh, Sentret last? That means that Furret does- that means that Sentret does evolve into Furret. Torch Song, Skeledurge! Skeledurge, use Torch Song. Gotcha! Ba 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 bam. Skeletor just special attack rose. The opposing ferret fainted. Got him. Pokemon trainer Kieran is about to send out Poliwhirl. Oh, Lucario leveled up. Will you switch your Pokemon? Okay, Poliwhirl's a water type. So I'm going to send my Go Goat in. Come on back, Skeletor. You did great out there. You sure did. Go on, Go Goat, the Paldea champion. I know you can do it. Kieran sent out Poliwhirl. Oh, that's a new dude. I don't think I've seen Poliwhirl before. Horde and Leech, go go! Come on, Poliwhirl! Charge at him with everything you've got! Bop, 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 bop. Take down! Ow! The opposing Poliwhirl was damaged by the recoil. Go go used Horn Leech. Got him! It's super effective. That's it, I knew you could do it! But that was just one attack! Oh man, it did so much damage! Now that's a lot of damage! How about a little more? The opposing Poliwhirl had its energy drained. The opposing Poliwhirl fainted. Ba 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 Yanma! Okay, Floza leveled up. Will you switch your Pokemon? Kieran sent out Yanma. I should have sent in Skeledurge. I'll just do that. Ba 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 Come on back, go go! You did great out there. You sure did. Go on, Skeledurge, the Paldea champion. I know you can do it. The opposing Yanma used Bug Buzz. Ow! It's not very effective. Skeledurge's special defense fell. Torch Song, Skeledurge, go! Skeledurge used Torch Song. Got him. It's super effective. Skeledurge landed a critical hit, wishing to be praised. That's it. I knew you could do it. There you go, Skeledurge. 
Whoa! That attack made my heart skip a beat! Ba ba ba! The opposing Yanma fainted. Nice! We did it! Great job, Skeledurge! Ba 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 I beat you! Oh man! I lost! You got 2,904 in prize money. Don't worry, Kieran, it's not all about winning. It's about trying your best. I knew it. You really are strong, the TSMU fan. How am I ever going to be able to beat you? If the ogre saw that battle, I'm sure he'd be thinking, that kid's got real strength. See, my school, Blueberry Academy, it's a school that specializes in teaching the art of Pokemon battling. If I was as strong as you, maybe I could aim to be the best trainer there. Yeah? Let's go have a look at the owner's... Let's go have a look at the ogre's den. Alright. You can beat me one day, Kieran. I believe in you. In we go. Oh, is that the ogre? Oh, ho, 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 boy. The ogre was watching me. Watch your head! Okay. Oh, it's dark in here. See how dark it is in here? And cramped! Even the floor's all rough and uneven. Living all alone in a place like this would get pretty miserable, don't you think? Poor ogre. We have plenty of room at our house. I would have totally let it stay with us. Oh, you're a sweet kid, Kieran. When can I move in? You're a sweet kid, Kieran. You really are. N no, I'm not. I've just always liked the stories about the ogre, that's all. But, but, but if the ogre really did show up to stay at our place, I'm sure the whole town would freak. I have a feeling the ogre is going to show up here pretty soon because he was watching my battle. Whoa! No way! The sun's already gone down! I guess we'll have to save the last signboard for tomorrow. What? Oh! I almost forgot! Today's the first day of the Festival of Masks over at Kitakami Hall! It's this big event where everyone puts on masks and runs around celebrating. I mean, it's not like you've got to go or anything, but if you wanted to, you know, ch check it out, well, it'd be fun. Let's go together. Aww. Y yeah why not? It'd be great to go together. See, you're warming up to me, Kieran. There's just a few things we'd have to get ready but now, there's just a few things we'd have to get ready first, so we should swing by my house before heading to the festival. We live in the northwest corner of the village. It's... Um... Let's see. Maybe I could, I could maybe draw a map. Oh, you can register it in my map app. Oh, your Rotom phone has a map in it, huh? Sure does. Take a look at this. You want me to register it on your map? Yeah, I could give that a try. See, it's just that easy. Wowzers! It sure is handy having a map that shows you everything right there in your phone. It sure is. I'm gonna ask if I can get a Rotom phone someday too. That'd be very helpful on your journey, Kieran. I'll be right behind you if you want to head to my family's place first. See you there! Yep, see you later, Kieran. You're a good friend. Alright, head to Kieran's house. I think we can head there and then we can end the episode. Okay, so where is that? Let me just pull up the map. Um, is it already focused on? Set his destination, there we go. Alright, off we go. We're off to Kieran's house. Ba 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 this is really fun so far. I'm liking it a lot. Whoa! Down we go! Whee! Plop. Apple Hills. Let's get this. Experience candy extra small. 
And down we go. Whoa, don't want to run into you guys. Burn heal, okay, cool. His house is right here. You arrived at your destination. And get off. Let's go. This is his house. Grandpa, I'm home. Oh, is that your grandpa? Welcome home, Karen. And who's this with you? Oh, um, this is the TSMU fan. He's a part of the same school trip as me and Sis. Oh, so this is a new friend of yours, eh, Kieran? I sure am. What? R really? We're friends? Of course we are. <laughs> friends. I feel all tingly and funny hearing that. <laughs> yeah, it's good to be friends, isn't it? Thank you for befriending our Kieran here, the TSMU fan. Oh, Karen's made a friend. I yeah, this is the TSMU fan. The TSMU fan, this is my grandma. Well, fancy that, a friend of Karen's. We're delighted to have you, the TSMU fan. Oh my, is it really already sundown? Goodness me, I've n I'd nearly forgotten. The Festival of Masks starts tonight, doesn't it? Come now, Kieran. You too, the TSMU fan. I'll get out some gin made for you both so you can go to the festival all gussied up. Hear that? We get to dress up in Jinbei! Yay! I don't even know what Jinbei is. No, 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 don't go running off just yet. We have to do up your hair, too. But I'm wearing a hat. There we are. All done. Whoa! Look at me! I'm a whole new person! Whoa! It suits you mighty fine, just as I thought it would. Goodness, it's like I've gained another grandson. <laughs> I imagine a stylish young thing like yourself could make good use of this too, the TSRO fan. You obtained the teal style card. Thank you. You put the teal style card in your bag's key items pocket. Teal style card. Having one of these cards increases the selection available to you in boutiques and hair salons. Having that card should open up all sorts of new looks for you at the biggest city shops and salons. Hey, Gran, do you know where my... What? Gah! What are you doing here? The GSMU fan said he'd go to the Festival of Masks with me. Oh, really? Is that so? What's it matter anyway? What are you doing back here? Oh, right. Gran, I couldn't find my mask for the festival. Oh, the masks, they should be in the shed. I put them there after last year's festival. It shouldn't be locked, so you three can go have a rummage and see what you find. Alright, to the shed. First one there wins. Wait, sis, you're such a cheater. Please forgive those two. Oh, that's, gram that's Grandpa saying that. Please forgive those two, the TSMU fan. They can be a bit rambunctious. Oh, it's no problem. Alright, so where's their shed at? Go get yourself a mask. You got it. Here we are. Whew! Oh, sorry, I was just taking a breath because it was running around all that. And it's probably really loud coming into the mic, sorry. Uh, but there's got to be another one. Hey, what's up? Sis, the Tears and Mew fans here. Peter, the horse is here. <laughs> Tch, just walling up like you own the place. Well, it looks like there's only two masks in the shed. Okay. Too bad, right? There's nothing I can do about it. Guess we'll just have to do without a mask, eh? First come, first served and all that. Seriously? Are you serious, Carmine? Come on now, don't look so glum. 
How about instead of a mask, I give you a battle in style? Festival style! Look at Kieran in the background, he's just like, Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, get in position! Bop, 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 bop. Alright, I'll battle you! If this is for the mask, then I'll do it! Ba, 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 ba. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Carmine. Pokemon Trainer Carmine sent out more Peko. Go, Skeledurge, the Paldea Champion, versus. Feel free to be dazzled by how great I look in my Jinbei. I'll win while you're distracted. I'm not distracted. Torch Song, Skeledurge. Oh, geez, the camera's clipped inside the ground there. Got him! In almost in one hit. Whoa. The opposing Morpeko hung on using its focus sash. The focus sash was used up. Skeledurge's special attack rose. The opposing Morpeko used Lash Owl. Ow, it's super effective. What? Oh, now you're evil! Bite, Skeledurge! Quick! Skeledurge used Bite. Got him! It's not very effective. The opposing Morpeko fainted. Whoa, that was close. Ba 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 Pokemon Trainer Carmine is about to send out Sinistra. Will you switch your Pokemon? That's a new one. Carmine sent out Sinistra. You're new. We've never seen you before. Torch Song, Skeledurge. Skeledurge used Torch Song. Whoa. What was that? What'd you eat? It's super effective. Haha, <laughs> didn't even matter. That's it. I knew you could do it. Is this about the mask? Come on, stop with the super effective moves. Ba 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 ba. Skeletor just special attack rose. The Alkaberry weakened the damage to the opposing Sinischi. The, op the Alkaberry was used up. The opposing Sinischa fainted. Sinischi? I said Sinischi. It's Sinischa, I think. Pokemon Trainer Carmine is about to send out Mighty Yenna. Holy crap, Mighty Yenna! Carmine sent out Mighty Yenna. Good gravy! Skeledurge's attack fell. Okay, Torch Song, Skeledurge! Skeledurge used Torch Song. Oh, nice! Got him in one hit! Skeledurge's special attack rose. The opposing Mighty Yenna fainted. Great job, Skeledurge! Ba ba ba. Swadloon. Will you switch your Pokemon? I'm good. I'm gonna crush you and go to the festival feeling like a winner! Carmine sent out Swadloon. Ah, it's you! You're from the black and white games. Overheat, Skeledurge! Go! Got him! It's super effective. That's it, I knew you could do it. The opposing Swadloon fainted. Nice. Great job, Skeledurge! You defeated Pokemon Trainer Carmine. You lost, and I won. Hey, you're supposed to be enamored and distracted by my festival style. You got $3,584 in prize money. Well, I'm not distracted. I won the battle, and it's already nighttime. Oh, well. It's not like beating me was going to cause another mask to magically appear. Now then, let me get my mask. <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. How's that? Look good, don't I? You've got an interesting mask there, Kieran. It's okay, the TSMU fan. You can just wear my mask. Aw, thank you. What? No! I already said it's first come, first served! And besides, that's your ogre mask. You've always loved that mask best. Yeah, but... No buts about it. The TCB fan can get can just get his own mask at the festival. He's fine. Now move it. Let's go. Oh, Kieran's really starting to care about me. He really wanted me to get he really wanted to give me his mask that he cares about so much. That's really nice. Oof. Sorry the TSMU fan. I know my sis seems kinda harsh. B -b but she's really not all that bad. Actually, she was tearing the shit apart, trying to find a third mask for you before you got there. 
Really? <laughs> uh oh, but uh, don't tell her I told you that, the TSMU fan. Alright, Kieran, that'll be our little secret. The Festival of Masks is held up at Kitakami Hall. We should probably get going. Alright, let's go. Head to the Festival of Masks. We'll do this and then I think we'll end the episode. That's a very interesting outfit that I have. I got some pocket money. Good for you, kid. Okay, where's the Festival of Masks at? Ah, it's over that way. Okay, so let's focus on that and head over there, and then we can end the episode after we do that. Come on, focus on it. There we go. Set his destination, please. And off we go. Your Pokedex has been updated. Awesome! Still up and about? Well, this is your Pokemon Center. Want to rest your tired Pokemon? I'd like to heal my Pokemon, please. Okay, I'll take them here for a sec. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nice, thank you. Skeletors and the rest of your team should be all better now. Come back whenever you need. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, there's a TM in here. Amnesia. Look at that cute Vulpix sleeping on top of the roof. Isn't that adorable? Aww. Alright, let's head off to the Festival of Masks. Sounds a lot like 2020, doesn't it? <laughs> I'd say that 2020 was the real Festival of Masks. <laughs> You'll know what I mean if you've experienced all that stuff. The you-know-what stuff. All right, up to the Festival of Masks we go. Kitakami Hall, no time to talk to anybody. We've got a festival to go to. Hoo, ha, huff. All right, here we are. You arrived at your destination. Here we are. Woo! All right. Ba, 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 ba. This is good music. I like it. There's a lot to see around here. A lot of stands and a lot of people wearing masks. Excuse me. Oh, it's the ogre. Oh, he's got his own mask. That's the one that I seen on the promotional on the promotional photos. Alright, here we are. This is the Festival of Masks. Today's just the first day. It'll keep going for a while. I bet I bet you don't have any festivals this big over in Paldea or wherever, right? Um, yeah, I think that's true. Heh, <laughs> knew it. See? Kitakami is just as good as any of your big, shiny cities. It's okay, the TSMU fan. Just ignore her. Alright. <laughs> I'll snap a photo so you can remember this amazing night forever. Give me a roto stick for a sec. Okay, just as long as you give it back. Come on, you two. Scooch in closer. Ow! You're stepping on my toes, sis! Oh, stop complaining. This will only take a second. Okay, are you all ready? Say Chansey! Chansey! Now that's what I call a nice festival vibe. The Festival of Masks is held so we can all honor the loyal three, the brave heroes of Kitakami. The loyal three are the Pokemon that once protected this land from the evil ogre, you know. Most of the kids in town wear masks of the loyal three, like me. Did I mention there are heroes? <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? N nothing. I was just thinking that it was funny that, like, you don't know anything about the ogre. What? I know the legends of Kitakami better than anybody. Pretty of gut pretty gutsy of you to laugh at your big sis. S sorry. Kiki's still a little baby, so he of course thinks some kind of terrible monster's c 
cool. He likes the ogre more than the lawyer three. Oh look, they've got candy apples. Let's go check out the stalls. <laughs> okay, that was a good way to leave the conversation. Just bye. What do you say? That brother of mine's awfully quick to run away when he doesn't like what's being said. I honestly think that that's a very good way to leave a conversation. I just feel like, oh, hey, I need to go and do something. I gotta go. <laughs> Excuse me. Two candy apples, please. You got it. Two candy apples coming right up. Or are you getting one for me? Uh, here, the TSMU fan. You can have one. Thanks. Grandma gave me some pocket money, so it's no big deal. I love candy apples. You don't get to eat them every day, you know. Grandma always makes us oh, Grandma always just makes us mochi as a snack. There's even a Pokemon in Kitakami that looks like a little old candy apple. Did you know that? Hey, let's check that out over there. Candy apple. Carefully that you don't drop it. Where where am I going? Hold on. Uh, it's hard to pick. There's a Pokemon that looks like a candy apple. <laughs> Are you talking about, like, Applin or something? That's not, like, a candy apple. That's just a regular apple. Is that the name? Applin? The one that looks like just an apple with, like, wings or something? The old signboards. Where am I supposed to go? Where did Kieran go? He just up and disappeared. Do you say anything if I go back to you? Nothing says festival like a bunch of super salty fried food. Okay. Where did Kieran go? Look at all these people. Yeah, there sure are a lot of people around here. Oh, is that him over there? Oh, I see him. He's over off in the corner. Shh. Fire Terror Shard. Oh, that's not you. You're wearing a Pikachu mask. He was wearing the ogre mask. Okay, where is he? I gotta find him. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Is he up here? Okay, he's not here. Where did he go? Oh, there's a TM behind here. Helping hand, the user assists an ally by boosting the power of that ally's attack. I have no idea where Kieran went. Where am I supposed to go? Let me see if I can bring up the map. Um... I don't see any, like, marked destinations around here. What's this? Oh, there you are. I didn't even see you right there. Step right up for game of Ogre Austin. So, you all want to have a go? Sure, what's Ogre Austin? Hey, you're one of those kids that came all the way from Paldea, right? I can't very well take money from a guest. Have a go on the house. Oh, you're going to try it, the TSMU fan? I'll, uh, I'll cheer you on from a, a safe distance. Okay. You up for a run of Ogre Austin, huh? I did one just now. It was pretty easy. For me, that is. My score was 6,390. Think you can do better? Go get her, the TSMU fan. Sure. Let's do it. Oh. Let's do this. Ogre Austin. So what do I do? Okay. <laughs> it took a while for the game to load there. Ogre Austin. Ogre Austin is a traditional game that has been played in Masui Town since long ago. Gather up lots of berries and bring them to the berry tables to try to earn yourself a high score. How to play. The playing field is dotted with ogre balloons in four different colors. Pop these balloons to collect the berries inside of them. There are also four different colors of berry tables at your home base. Place one of your berries on a matching table by getting close to it and pressing the A button. Once you've managed to place the target number of berries on these tables, you win. 
From time to time, greedy Pokemon may gather around the berry tables hoping to gobble up all your hard-earned berries. If you let them, they'll eat until all your berries are gone. Use the R button to scare them off. Two, four, two, two. Berries needed. Three, two, one. Go, go, go. All right, so I need to get two berries of these. Pop, pop. Head to the thing. Okay, so do I just go back? Ah, I do. Okay, so put them in here. Ba 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 ba. Okay, so we need four of these. One, two, three, four. Head to the thing. I got five. I didn't think I needed to get that many. Ba 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 ba. A greedy greedent appeared. Where? Got it. Where's the greedent? I'll take care of this. A greedy greedent appeared. A greedy squavet appeared. One, two. All right, back in the opposite direction, quickly. Let's scare them off. Okay, I think I did that right. Okay, so one, two. You collected all the Ganlon berries you need. Get out of here! A greedy greedent appeared. A greedy squavet appeared. Okay, so I still need blueberries. Go away! I don't want you getting into my berry collection. All right, one, two. All right, head back to the thing. I gotta head back quickly. They're taking my berries. All right, one, two. You collected all the apricot berries you need. All right, I need to get more of these since they took my berries. Oh crap, return to berry tables. I can just press Y to do that. Head to the thing, okay. This is difficult. Okay, back, 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 back. One, two. And then I'll head over here and get some over here. One, two. Head to the thing, okay. Hey, get out of there! I need to get closer to you. There we go. And you, go away. Time's up. Dang it, I don't think I did it. Whew! Hey, there's a Munchlax, the TSMU fan. 84. Oh, rewards none. Keep playing. Oh, I have to quit. Man, that was difficult. It was a lot of fun, though, I will admit. Woo, man. That was some fine dashing about. Let's see now. You scored 84 points, so here's your prize. You obtained the experience charm. You put the experience charms in your bag's key items pocket. Experience charm. Having one of these charms increases the EXP points your Pokemon gets. A strange, stretchy charm that encourages growth. I, Carmine, Masui's reigning champion of Ogre Balloon Busting, have triumphed. I really want to have another go to deliver a crushing final defeat with a killer score, but I don't have much pocket money left. Kiki, you go serve the TSMU fan a sound defeat for me. N no What's that? You're talking the side of an you're taking the side of an outsider of your own sister? That makes me so annoyed I think I'm gonna black out Uh sorry uh sorry she's causing such a scene. Don't worry, I'll deal with her. Why don't you go wander around a bit in the meantime? Okay. Oh, there's the ogre over there. Oh. Where are you going off to? Am I supposed to follow you? You can't ride Maridon right now. Hey, where'd you go? There you are. Oh, you're just standing right there. Oh boy. Am I gonna have to battle you? Hello, Mr. Ogre. I'm nice. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hi! You're the ogre I must have been hearing so much about. What's up? Are you nice? Are you gonna be my friend? Pawn? A mysterious child is staring at you from behind their mask. What? That's not a child, that's the ogre. Are you enjoying the festival? Okay, seems like the ogre enjoys it. Ponyo! 
Hey, the TCMU fan, listen to this. It's nuts. Kiki's no use at all. Zero tower gun for ousted ogres, I'm telling you. <gasps> hey, you scared the ogre off. Hey, who was that? I think that was the ogre that Kieran was telling me about. Chase after that mysterious kid. Hey, come back. I'm nice. I won't hurt you. Whoa. Wait, the TSMU fan. You shouldn't run off on your own. Oh, it's Carmine. Hey, new kid. That goes for you, too. That's not a kid. I think that's the ogre. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. Its mask came off. Here you go. What? You should come back. The mountain's dangerous at night. Oh. No, come back. Oh my gosh, you're adorable. That's what you look like behind the mask? Come back. Oh, that was adorable. You found the teal mask. You put the teal mask in your bag's key items pocket. Teal mask. A teal mask patterned after the face of an ogre. Ogre Pond dropped it while fleeing up the stairs after visiting the Festival of Masks. Who was that? Where'd that kid come from? I don't think it's a kid, Carmine. I think that was the ogre. What are you talking about? Wait, do you mean that kid we just saw? They ran off toward the mountain. C could that have been the ogre? From the story on all the signboards? Are you saying that story was true? I mean, they did drop a mask, so they really must be. The TCMU fan! Sis! Kieran, you won't believe what I just saw! What are you guys doing over here? Oh, we just bumped into the ogre. Hey! Wait! Stop, stop, stop! What? Why are you yelling all of a sudden, sis? It's nothing. It's nothing you'd be interested in at all, I swear. Carmine, stop that. Huh. Oh, I get it. I bet you were making fun of me behind my back. I'm just gonna head back. I'm just gonna head back to the festival. No way, Kieran, come back. It's the ogre you wanted to see. Phew. At least you didn't figure out what we were really talking about. That was mean of you, Carmine. He really wanted to see that ogre. Don't scare me like that, blabbing for the whole world to hear. Don't you have any filter? See, Kiki really likes the ogre. Like, really, really, really likes it. That's why he wanted to see it, you idiot. So if you found out we'd seen the ogre without him, I guess I was afraid he'd feel bad, you know? Feel left out or something. Am I overthinking it? Besides, I don't want him running up the mountain to follow the ogre at this hour either. Well, in any case, we already lied about it, and that's that. Let's keep this whole thing all a little secret, okay? And maybe hold off on showing Kiki that mask you just picked up too. Okay. So what do I do now? Talk to Kieran before heading back. So the ogre's name is Ogre Pawn? And it looks adorable without its mask on! Like that was the most cutest face I've ever seen! And its mask looks, looks like so scary, like ah, Like I've seen the promotional fake pictures and everything. I didn't know such a cutie was behind that mask! What do you say? Hehe, <laughs> this festival was so much fun. And absolutely nothing weird happened, right? Oh, I see what you're doing. You're acting like nothing ever happened. Well, that was a very jerk move of you, telling Kieran that they did that you didn't see the ogre. I'm gonna tell him right now. Had enough of the festival? Yeah. Well then, guess we should head home. I'll walk you back to the community center. Okay. The next day... Head outside when you're ready. Okay. I'm gonna head outside and then I think I'll end the episode because this one's starting to run long. Whew! Wow! 
Hey, it's Carmine. What are you doing here? There you are, the tears to be a fan. Just because we didn't agree to meet doesn't mean you get to keep me waiting. So, uh, you see, I wanted to talk to you a bit. You haven't told anybody about the, you know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? No, I haven't. You better not be lying! If I find out you blabbed, I'm gonna make you swallow a coughing hole! You still have that thing we picked up at the stairs, right? My grandpa knows a whole lot about the village's history. We should go to talk to him about what happened yesterday. Okay. You know where my house is, right? See you there, don't keep me waiting. Let's show grandpa the, you know, the thing we found. Um, sure, I think I have enough time to do that. Head to Carmine's house. Let's just do that real quick and then we can end the episode. Because that's honestly not too far from where we already are. And then after we do that, then we can end the episode. It's just right over here. Okay, what's going on? Let's show Grandpa the, you know... Oh, that's the wrong voice. I was doing Kieran's voice. Let's show Grandpa the, you know, the thing we found. Okay, am I just supposed to talk to him? Good morning to you, the TSMU fan. Hey, Kieran. Hey, the TSMU fan. Good morning. Tsk. He's awake, huh? Want to go see the last signboard? Kiki, go find somewhere place else to be. The TSMU fan's got business with me. Oh. Seriously? He's spending all his time with you? That's so unfair. You can be such a jerk. What'd you just call me? Oh, Kieran's standing up for himself. Hmm. <laughs> What's his deal? Kiki should know better than to talk back to me like that. That's enough, Carmine. Be kind to your younger brother. I was being kind. It's not like I hit him or anything. <sighs> Anyway, we've got more important things to discuss, right, the TSMU fan? Come on, you gotta show Grandpa that thing you have. Um, teal mask, here we are. Select. Here's the mask I found. Could this be? This mask, it belongs to that poor ogre. Where did you find this? We bumped into it. The ogre, I mean. Yesterday, at the Festival of Masks. I tried talking to it all nice and everything, but it dropped that mask and... Yeah. I never would have thought that the ogre would still be gracing our festival with its presence. Oh? Uh? Huh? What do you mean, still? I thought the ogre was a scoundrel that attacked the village. Is that not true? I suppose it's time I told you, Carmine. You see, the truth of what happened with that ogre is the other way around. Ooh. The other way around? What do you mean? You should hear this too, the TSMU fan. You also met the poor ogre, or ogre pawn, as it's rightly named. Let me tell you the true story has passed down through our family for generations. Oh, this is getting interesting. Talk to Carmine's grandfather. It didn't just drop me into a cutscene. This is going to be a bit of a long story to tell. Is that all right? Yeah, I've still got time. Let's hear the story, Grandpa. Or not, you're not my grandpa, but your grandpa. This story has been passed down in our family by word of mouth. I learned it from my father. Okay. It's a story of truths. A story that must never be told to the rest of the village. You must never speak of it to others. Okay. Oh, this is going to get really interesting, I bet. Alright, let's see just how long this story is. A long, long time ago, a man and an ogre came to Kitakami from a foreign land. The people of the village feared the man and the ogre who looked so different from them. I'll do the same narrator voice I was doing for the signboards. 
and so they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village. The man and the ogre were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them. But they were happy just to have each other. They settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. There is only one villager who pitied the two travelers, the village mask maker. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. Oh, he's the one who made the teal masks. The masks were brilliant works, adorned with gems the man bought from somewhere far away. By wearing these masks, the travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. The man and the ogre were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. Wearing the masks, the man and the ogre started secretly joining the village festival. The mysterious pair soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. In fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, even to distant lands. But rumors of exquisite, shining masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. A group of greedy Pokemon soon made their way to the land of Kitikami. Oh, the three Pokemon are the bad guys! These Pokemon sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ogre lived and tried to make off with the masks which were carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks. But he was not strong enough to protect them all. The Pokemon stole the other three masks. So the teal mask is the one that was left behind. Several hours later, when the ogre returned to the cave, it found its beloved home in ruin. All that was left were the signs of a struggle and a teal mask. The ogre donned that mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for its friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there, gloating over their stolen masks, and defeated them. The villagers, of course, had no idea what was happening, nor why. All they saw was the raging ogre, and they felt great fear. The villagers thought the three Pokemon had fallen trying to protect the village from the ogre. To honor their sacrifice, the villagers named them the Loyal Three and interred them with care. Oh. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave, alone and with great sadness. Oh, I see. That's terrible. Ogre Pond did deserve that, and the loyal three, they're the worst. The story everyone's been told is the complete opposite of the truth. They've got to hear about this. Calm yourself, Carmine. I already told you to keep it to yourself. But Grandpa... The villagers believe their own version of history. They revere the Loyal Three. So how would they react to being told that they've got it all wrong? They'd probably get angry. Exactly. Back when this all first occurred, the mask maker, that is to say, our ancestor, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter. But nobody would take him seriously. In fact, it said he was persecuted as a heretic. Oh, that really gets my blood boiling. In the end, the mask maker chose to protect his descendants, us, by keeping his mouth shut. However, he kept the truth alive, passed down from generation to generation as a family secret. I see. Kiki doesn't know the whole story yet, does he? He shouldn't. No, I've certainly never spoken to him about it. Why do you ask? I don't know. He just seems to re he just really seems to like the ogre. He's practically obsessed, and he's been trying to one-up me as if he knows more about Ogre Pond than I do. Well, I can't say what's going on with the boy, but he was always a sensitive child. It wouldn't surprise me if he somehow intuited the truth. I promise to tell Kieran the whole story when the time is right. Until then, take care not to breathe a word of the truth to anybody. Okay, Grandpa. Now I really can't tell Kiki we met the ogre. About that mask you showed me, I noticed the jewel on its forehead was chipped. 
I might be able to fix it. Would you like? Would you mind leaving the mask with me for a little while? Oh, huh. Maybe it got chipped when it fell down the stairs. Since Grandpa's offering, let's give it. Let's get it all nice and fixed up before we give it back to Ogapon. Okay. You gave the teal mask to Carmine's grandfather. Don't you worry. I'll be sure to take good care of this. Okay. Is that it? Oh, no, there's another cutscene. Uh-oh, Kieran was listening in on the whole story. Oh, no. Well, now he knows the truth about the ogre. I want to see Ogapon again, but getting its mask fixed will have to come first. For now, we should carry on with the orienteering before Kiki gets suspicious. All right. I bet we'll find Kiki just killing time somewhere in town. Alright. Is that it now? Alright. Meet up with Kieran. Well, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to end this episode here because this episode's running really long. Would you like to save your adventure so far? Yes, I would. Now saving your Pokemon adventure. Don't turn off the power. You saved your progress. Alright. Well, that's going to be it for this first episode of the Pokemon Violet DLC, The Teal Mask. Wow! A lot of stuff happened in this episode. We go to this new location with all these new Pokemon that we've never seen before. We learn about the Loyal Three and how they were the nice ones and the Ogre was the bad guy. But now, like, we've just learned that that was wrong. Like, it's all switched around. Like, the Loyal Three are the bad ones and the Ogre is the good one. Like, wow, what a twist! And, oh my gosh, Ogre Pond's face without the mask on is so adorable! Like, I wasn't expecting Ogre Pond to look like that! Like, that just caught me totally by surprise! Like, like it looks so cute! But, oh my gosh! What an amazing episode this is! I really like Kieran, he's a very relatable character. The game still looks really good. With all its um, really detailed Pokemon, the music is really nice. This game is really, really great so far. I'm really liking this DLC. It's providing a lot of great additional content onto Pokemon Violet. But yeah, that's going to be the end for this first episode of the Pokemon Violet DLC, The Teal Mask. In the next episode, we're going to meet up with Kieran, and we're going to do some stuff with him. And we're going to let um, Carmine's grandpa fix the teal mask so that we can give it back to Ogre Pond. But that's all going to have to be for the next couple episodes, because I'm going to end this episode here, because this is already running really long. So, thanks everybody so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you all in the next video. This is the TSMU Fan signing out. Bye bye Special thanks to my Patreon supporters who have chosen to remain anonymous. If you'd like to learn how to get your name at the end of every new video that I upload, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Link is on my channel homepage under my channel description.